This conference will now be recorded. I didn't see any of them, so I can proceed with this. So basically, like whatever we are learning over here is we are just learning our user interface, which is like UI. So I just want to give you this particular basic information about it. Let's quickly share my screen. Before that, I just open my notepad. So first thing when we are entering into this particular UI, we need to have to concentrate the basic structure of your HTML and how to apply the CSS and then we will be concentrating on our JavaScript. So how to write the JavaScript and then advanced JavaScript, which is like a e, uh, whatever we called it as a ES6 uh, advanced JavaScript. So which is like ES6 we are learning. So once we're done with this particular prerequisites, these are all the prerequisites we uh, we need to have to get through. Then we will able to learn your React programming. And then if you little bit implement this particular the TypeScript over here, then we can have this Angular So this is entire core scenario. So we are in just now with this particular basic HTML. So all of you know about this particular HTML, but I just want to brief you about this particular HTML and what is this particular HTML and how it will be like. So HTML we have already uh, seen in our last session. So HTML is the defining language for your uh, whatever the pages you will be defining, like whatever the web pages, those are defining on the basis of HTML. HTML is a language which is like browser which will be having to understand. So I just have to create our HTML. So generally the HTML pages will be creating using your notepads and something like that. But I'll be using some ideas like a sublime text which is available like this. So this is a sublime text which you can available uh, folder. So first of all, what you need to do is you just have to create a folder at your level. So just like a, so which is like a project B is my folder. So I just open my folder using my sublime text. Now it is good. So once I open this particular project over here, now you are getting my voice as a low. Now you are getting it clear. Okay. So once you get this particular project, so you need to have to create a file. So basically what we are creating with the files using uh, the same structure what we'll be using. So which I'll be creating the index.html because why the naming is an index. So why some of the browsers will be seeing like index and how we'll be using the index and defaults as a uh, home page, root page. So index is nothing but it is defining your root base of your project so which is in your particular project the root pages will be defined using the index so which is like index.html index.jsp index.aspx all these are the root pages it is indicating that whenever you entered your url in your project it has to come with your default page so you don't need to enter again index.html that is the default configuration for each and every projects so in a, in any scenarios the index and default or the default uh, uh, root page names it will be like that so in this particular html so i just want to create a html using this uh, i just type some html and uh, if you are getting some indication like this so which is like in this idea is uh, having a good intelligence which you are for your basic programming 
So if I can enter this, it will be giving you a simple structure. But the basic learners, I'm advising you to follow this particular sublime text. You can download it from your uh, browser, whatever this particular thing. So I will be showing you a way to download this. If we can sublime text. It will be available at supplytext.com. The symbol will be like this. And if you can see here, the sophisticated text editor for code, markup, and whatever the pros it will be, it will be having the particular structure and it can also see what are the features it will be including in this. Okay. So you can, it, it is a simply open source. It is uh, asking you to buy, but you can use your sublime text uh, uh, as open source. It doesn't need anything. So once it, it is asking for that, and then it is asking for to purchase, but you can just cancel it and it will not be anything. It will not do anything over here. So here, this is my basic structure of your HTML and the HTML will be having the entire HTML with the head and the body and which is like whatever you're configuring in the head region, it is related to your browser window and whatever the border related things, whatever you're configuring inside your or you are typing something, the information inside the body and you will be getting inside your browser. So if you can see here, this is my page title so my page will be like uh, whatever the project you will be using so that is your project title and you'll be saying this is my content so if you can see this you want to right click on this particular thing and you just open in your browser so if you can see here the content over here is so for your purpose I'm just making it as a big as big as this so you can see this particular content with this and how to troubleshoot your content and how to uh, to know what it is happening inside your page so generally we know that HTML parses the output which is like whatever the parsing it will be it is just giving you the display like this if you can see here every every browser will be having a developer tools like this and the elements part which you are uh, uh, it will be giving you over content whatever the html is passing your output over here and whatever the structure you will be doing over here it is coming into your particular body and it is in your elements over here so it is like the html and the head part whatever we have configured everything will be here and if you can see here there are some default styles it will be computed for each and every page so which and every tag it is associated with this particular uh, styles for this particular thing if you can see here it is uh, like this okay. so if you can see here the body will be having the display block and margin will be having like this if you can select in this particular element if whatever the body it will be it is just selecting this particular thing and also if you can see here there is a box it is creating this is called as a uh, boxing model for this particular styles it will be like whatever the content you will be using that is like margin border padding and the content it will be displaying like this and if you can see here the content is fitting into this particular in this particular body tag and the padding there is no padding for that there is no border and if you can see here the body will be having a margin of eight pixels which is like it is a default configuration which is given provided by that particular user agent user agent is nothing but your browser okay and it can also have the computed whatever the event listeners and the dom break points and properties accessibilities and you can see all those things in the later version so if you can understand this particular what is happening in this particular elements you can see and we can also make use of this particular console sources network performance and all those things whenever it is needed so as an ui developer you need to consider all these things and you can also see whatever the things that is happening over here and every browser will be having a emulator screen which is like it will be showing you your responsiveness you can also check this particular responsiveness over here 
uh, in this particular screen itself so that you can add if you are doing any mobile response you know, as apply applying for this particular websites you can check over here and you can get through this particular implementation and you can imp whatever the whatever the styles or whatever the bootstrap content you just include and you can check and verify on here and you can deploy that there might be a slight difference it will be from this particular emulator and your real-time devices and sometimes you need to troubleshoot that and you can use this particular emulators as a base reference okay so here so we are just html is for the basic information we know that and uh, to use this particular basic information, we will be having some text formatting elements. So those uh, that particular text formatting elements will be giving you a good structure about your content. So for that, I'll be using some, or uh, there are some default uh, uh, text elements will be available. So now what we are seeing over here is we are just uh, seeing this particular body as a content. So we'll be having some uh, whatever this. Uh, uh, basic things will be having some paragraphs and headings kind of thing so the content it will be including like this so which is like a paragraphs and a heading so which is like you can also use the sample heading and this is the content from the topic of sample and it is a paragraph so you want to use this as a paragraph and this as a heading so what are the default things it will be like once you do this particular thing it will not recognize that it will be displaying as a text as is so if you can see here it is just a text so you need to have to use some formatting elements like paragraph and headings inside your thing so for the paragraphs i'll be having so like html will be having the p element which is with the starting and ending tag so which is like if you can use this particular paragraph it is just giving you this particular paragraph in a paragraph style and if you can see here styles so once you select this particular thing see the paragraph will be having a default styling of display block and whatever the margins it will be and the font and whatever the margins it will be coming like as with the contrast and all so if you can see this is the default styling of the paragraph so what what is the purpose of this particular heading so i just want to use some headings like so we'll be having headings from h1 to h6 so according to your usage you can use this particular paragraph or whatever the headings over here so uh, just use it please. So if you can see here, this is the content like the heading and whatever the paragraph element it will be like this. So these are some paragraph elements so you should have to go through this but let me just give me a minute I'll be right back in a minute. So in this particular text formatting elements, so we have some more headings and 
or we can configure uh, the heading styles it will be like this and we'll be like listing some of the uh, so creating some text so we'll be having the heading elements heading styles whatever the elements we call it as an element so which is from h1 to h6 so which is like h1 h2 h3 h2 h6 or till the h6 we will be having so you can also check this particular whatever the headings it will be applying over here so if you can select this particular thing so it is looking like this and if you can change this particular element inside your browser you can see the whatever the styles it is applying for this particular heading or you can also check this and the styles kind of thing so it'll be like this we'll be having so till h6 it is like a small heading and it is uh, smaller than your content as well and you can also configure uh, like this and after that h6 we will not having any other styles so if we, if you are using the h7 it is just displaying as your paragraph tag as well so we'll be having basically from h1 to h6 only these are all the heading styles and we'll be having some paragraphs and text formatting elements and heading lines and we'll be having some elements so so whatever this particular in this html scenario these are all the elements so whatever the head body h1 and the p paragraph and the these are all the elements it will be applying for so we call it as the elements rather than the tags <clears throat> so because these are all the elements and because in the html scenario we don't we don't have to use this particular tags or is of the combination of whatever the starting tag and the ending tag but here if you can use this particular as an element you can use this particular element as a reference and you can get the element reference in the javascript so that is the purpose of this particular thing so whenever we are using this as an element so we call it as an element over here so basically this is the scenario like this the html documents are made up of the html elements and each element is written using a start tag and an end tag and within the content in between so this is how you will be using the elements and html documents consists of this particular nested html elements in the whatever the we will be seeing over here in this particular page it will be having the multiple tags or multiple elements we'll be using so uh, we'll be having the self content uh, i mean the self closure tags something like this so which will be like if you want to break, break this particular paragraph somewhere here so this particular paragraph over here so i just want to use some other pr tag which is like a self closure tag so then and then it will be asking like this you can just cancel this and you can so it will be like break tag is something like that and you can also for your indication that it is a self closing tag and you can also avoid this particular closing tag for this particular thing so you can also use the same scenario like this anyways this particular here will be compiled into this particular thing so it will be like this and today like more into like i just want to give you the basic overview about uh, you just have to understand what is element and what is an attribute so we'll be having some if you are adding uh, attributes provide the additional information for about an element or a tag so while also modifying them so most attributes have the value which the value modifies this particular attribute for example if you are having some attribute over here which is like i'll be using some align as an attribute which is like using some center so we'll just my align so it is my it is just an attribute which is like which is having an additional property which is like this you can see here in our paragraph styling it is just giving you the p attributes of the style where the text align web kit center it will be like this so it is like defaultly it is applying some basic styling for this particular paragraphs and all 
so it will be like this so attributes are the additional information so we can use this particular additional information and you can also use some attribute measurements or align attributes and whatever that it will be like you can use this particular attributes like that and we are having some other uh, uh, images or there are some media content it will be like you can include the images and uh, uh, it can also resize that particular images it will be like this so because if you want to show some you know, whatever the content over here you need to have to include this particular images and you need to understand this particular elements and attributes so we'll talk about this particular uh, element attributes classes and comments later so we'll see some different types whatever here and you can also learn this particular links how to use this particular links and there are some other things like lists so today you just go through these particular things of what are those particular lists and what are the tables you'll be using and all so these are all the important things you need to know about it and generally we are talking about the elements html uh, most of the elements are defined into two types over here one is like block level and inline elements so block level elements are which are which we are getting from the uh, new line so which is like using the new line over here for example whenever we are using the paragraph tag it is just uh, defining your new line for example i'm just defining and the paragraph which is taken from the new line. So which is like it is creating from the new line, which I'm aligned to the center, but it is just taking a new line, which is like a block level element. So whatever the element we are defining, it is creating a new line. Those are called as a block level elements. And for that, uh, we'll be using then and then we'll be using some formatting elements like a, uh, a link or image or something like gold kind of thing. So, for example, I'll be using some B tag. So it's just like a B tag I have included. So which is like doing some bolding over here. And if you can see here, just like this. So this tag is included over here and which is not making a new line so these kind of tags the elements which are not forming into a new tag like new line so these are called uh, inline elements so which is not having any other representation so so for the text formatting elements we will be having the bold italic and whatever the striped elements and we'll be having a lot many types of that and other types of elements like we can use as iframes or inserted text or map object script all these things are the other type of elements what we can use this and in this particular thing so when once we use this particular so we are using this particular readable content so what if the user has to interact so for that user interaction uh, the the html will be having another things called form elements so form elements are nothing but whenever a user wants to interact with a particular user, it will be creating your forms. So for example, I'll just give you the simple things. So form will be having the input, whatever the inputs it will be like input text. And basically these are all the uh, attributes we'll be having in this particular input. And the name. So these are all the placeholders it will be like giving you this so once you've done this particular thing it is like just creating your text box over here and whatever the text box you need to enter something and like that. so there are some several types of text boxes uh, i mean the input boxes we'll be having so we'll be having uh, the text is a basic thing and uh, we can use the number to define only numbers inside this can have this see you can have the number you can have the down and this button over here and it is not allowed to type your text over here it is just entering something but here you are getting the enter the name as a placeholder because we have entered something over here so just about this 
and you can also have the HTML5 will be having the email or the password as a type so that if you enter something you enter something it is just defining you as a password so these are all the elements will be like input elements will be having so if you, if you want to have a checkbox something like giving you like this so checkbox radio button and uh, whatever the type of thing like. so if you are using the submit it is just giving you the uh, um, it needs a value the click is a button so which is like here it is just uh, happening in this particular input type it calls a submit it is just submitting the form whatever the form it will be like so if you're clicking something it is just going to this particular uh, url and it is just maintaining this particular url with question mark it is just extending this particular question mark so we'll see how it will be and all we'll be configuring the things with the form elements as well and these are all the form elements and form will be having some methods for so the methods it will be having the method equal to post get or something so we have seen the api uh, terms like get post put and uh, uh, delete all those methods you can apply over here whenever you're trying to get the data or set the data or what of the data manipulation data manipulations you'll be doing you can use this particular method and also use some uh action over here which is like performing whatever the action part you want to deal with this like you can have to include some function name so that it will be like whenever you submit this whatever the button you need to click this particular button it will be uh binding to your event so which is like your button handling this particular whatever the input it will be so we'll see this particular form actions it will be how it will be working when we will discussing with this particular javascript because at this point of time once you enter this particular types we will not be able to see whatever the types it will be like so just concentrate on this particular form elements uh later but here you just uh, have to try other than these things like we can have a date type so which is like giving you a calendar so it is like a calendar you can enter the date and all those things and you can also have the type called color to get this particular color so coming to this particular color html will be defining the colors as a, a hexadecimal code so you can see html colors are ex expressed as a hexadecimal values so uh, you know about the hexadecimal values it is from the 0 to 9 and a to f so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and a b c d e f so these are the 16 values uh, 0 to f it can represent 0 represents the lowest value and f represents the highest so generally the html color, mo color model are displayed in the combinations of red green and blue light which we call it as rgb and hex values are written using the hashtag symbol followed by either three or six hex characters. If you can see here, what is the style you will be using? Which is like a red, blue, and this thing. So this particular color will be getting using your whatever the color code over, over here. So each and every color, it will be like defined like this. So for example, I just use this particular background color. So just like body will be having a peachy color equals to gray. So it is a supply like this. So if you can see here, the body color, it is like inherit the root color, which is like RGB. If you can see here, RGB 128, 128, and 128 kind of thing. So which is like a reverse style, it will be like in the RGB scenario. But this particular RGB is whatever we are configuring. We can use this particular hashtag codes, which is with the zero to F. Yeah, you will be making some combinations like this. So in this particular thing, so whenever we are configuring using the uh, 
hash with the zero 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 it is representing as a black and other things it will be like ff is a, a white so in between you will be having all those colors will be configured so basically like whenever we are using this particular html attributes and also we will be getting this particular html as like this and if you can compare with this particular HTML with the previous versions, the doc type is the one which is able to recognize by the browsers, which is showing you this is the latest version. The latest version of the HTML is the HTML5. And you can also use this HTML5, so which is like the primary one in this. So today what you can do is just uh, try with this particular whatever the um, uh, basic HTML. So you just try with the text formatting elements today so we'll we'll go in a little slow manner uh because you just don't know this particular html components and all will be uh, it will be like a... so some of the freshness are there over here so we just have to concentrate on this particular uh, the basic elements over here so today you just download the sublime text and try to implement this particular structure and try to open in the browser and try to see this what it is happening inside your page so uh, we'll see in this particular next session so anyways you'll be having any other doubts let me uh, know in this particular session about the html so that we'll be uh, defining more things like css and other bootstrap things in the later session so what you have to do to today is you just have to try with the text formatting elements don't consider the media elements media elements will be considering later because anyways we'll be like uh, uh, seeing multiple examples in the next session it will be okay so any other doubts let me know in this particular session we are winding up this particular session a little earlier today so from today on uh, tomorrow onwards it will be like uh, we'll be starting a little la late the timings will be informed to you um, So most other people can know about it. Uh, I know a few other people are experiencing it. Uh, so if you have freshers, so you just have to include this particular sublime text from your URL, which is like a URL I'll be showing you over here. Oh, I'll just also forward you this particular URL. And you can also download from that particular thing. I just sent you to this. Uh, Okay, so if you don't have any other doubts, I just close this presentation today. Okay, then see you in the next session. Thank you. Okay, thank you.